everyone, this is Ashley from confectionaryhouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make bite-sized brains filled with oozing cherry filling for Halloween. I'm so excited to show you how to make these. Our bite-sized brain mold is one of our top sellers and I don't even mean just for Halloween, I mean year round. We sell hundreds of brain molds. I don't know what you guys are doing with them, but comment below and let me know. This is what I make with them. These really cute bite-sized brain chocolates filled with delicious cherry filling. And they're really a great way to gross out your party guests at Halloween. Some people get really grossed out by gory candy. Who knew? You can make these brains in any color chocolate you want. You want gray brains or green brains, but I figured out the best recipe for brain colored chocolate and I'm really excited to show you how to make that. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. Merkin's peach candy coatings. This is a half pound and I have it in a disposable pastry bag. I haven't melted it yet. I also have two milk chocolate candy coatings and three pink colored candy coating wafers. That's my perfect recipe for brain colored chocolate. And I'm going to melt them right in this bag and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The other thing you're going to need is one of our popular brain molds. Squeezums cherry candy filling. We also have creme de menthe, which is green. You could do green oozy brains. You'll also need a sheet of parchment paper. The first step to making these brain chocolates is to melt the Merkins candy coating. And I'm going to melt them in the microwave 30 seconds at a time in this bag. Just turn the end and sort of fold it under in the microwave to hold it in place. Microwave it 30 seconds, take it out of the microwave and give it a good squish to move everything around. This will help to stir the candy coatings around and avoid hot spots. So we've just microwaved our candy coatings for 30 seconds. And we're going to squish all of this around to distribute all of the hot spots and make sure you push it upward because a lot of times the chocolate at the end of the bag hasn't fully melted yet. So just kind of push it all up, squish it together, make sure you're holding the top of the bag so that your chocolate doesn't ooze out. Also make sure that the colors that we put in there have completely mixed into the peach candy coatings. This way you get the right shade of chocolate. Keep repeating the microwave process until all the candy coatings have melted. I love using disposable pastry bags for chocolate. It makes it easier to fill the molds and it keeps everything mess free. Plus when I'm done with this, I can store the leftover chocolate in this bag or I can just throw it out. I don't have any dishes to clean. Who wants more dishes? Take your parchment paper, lay it down on your work surface, and use a pair of scissors to snip the end of the pastry bag. Don't snip too much because then you won't be able to control the flow of chocolate coming out of the bag. But if you snip too little, it's not going to come out. Fill each of the brain cavities full with chocolate. Look how easy and mess free this is. You can use a bowl and a spoon to do this, but this is so much easier. Use your pointer finger and just guide the tip of the bag and lift up and tip it backwards to control the flow of the chocolate. And when you're done with the bag, just fold the bottom under. Once all of your brains are filled, give the mold a light tap on your counter. This will spread out the chocolate and bring any air bubbles to the surface. Once your mold is filled, place in the refrigerator for one minute. After one minute in the refrigerator, the edges of the brains will have started to set up, but the center will be nice and melted. Turn the mold over upside down and shake out all the melted chocolate. Give it a little shake. Turn it over. If the chocolate looks a little uneven, just give it a tap on the countertop. Place the mold in the refrigerator for about three minutes until your shells have completely set up and hardened. You can use the melted chocolate that you shook out of the mold again. Wait for it to harden, scrape it off of the parchment paper, and put it back into a bowl or into a pastry bag and remelt it so you won't have any waste. Once the shells have hardened in the refrigerator, you're ready to start filling them. And all you have to do to use this filling is snip the end of the bag with a pair of scissors and squeeze it into the mold. Fill each of the brain chocolate shells 
about three quarters of the way full. You want to leave enough room so that you can top it off with additional chocolate and seal the cherry filling into the chocolate shell. If you overfill, you won't have space to top them off with chocolate. Once all of the brains are filled with cherry filling, give it a little tap so that the cherry filling spreads out and re-microwave your peach colored chocolate for about 10 seconds until it's back to being fluid again. And top each of the brains off with melted chocolate. I like to work from the outside to the inside so that the edges are sealed up so no filling leaks out. Once all of the brain chocolates are topped off, give it a little tap on your countertop and place your chocolate mold back in the refrigerator for about five minutes. After five minutes, the chocolates should be completely hardened and should release very easily. If they don't release, put them back in the refrigerator for another five minutes. You can't leave them in too long, but you'll know that they're ready if they easily pull out of the mold. Look how cute those are. If your chocolates have a little bit of overflow like this one, you can use a paring knife to remove the, what I like to call feet. And there you go guys, you have these really cool bite-sized brain oozy chocolates for your next Halloween party. Mmm, these are so good. All of the supplies for this project can be found at confectionaryhouse.com. And if you do decide to make these, be sure to take pictures and tag us because we love seeing what you make.